Hello, hello, and welcome to my garage tests and experiments. Uh, where today we're going to be testing out some of the wear and tear on these vehicles and see how it actually affects performance. Uh, first off, we are trying to smash our radiator, and I do believe we were successful here. Uh, it was full of radiator fluid. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take it for a drive and we're just going to see how well it runs and if the engine gets worse as we drive. Okay, let's get her started. And if you see over there on the left hand side, we have um, this engine right now is 200 horsepower. So we would think with a smashed radiator, uh, it's probably leaking. And then we could probably assume if it's leaking, uh, you know what, let's see if we can... Okay, I think... Let's move so we can see the temperatures a little bit better. Okay, we're gonna drive a little bit sideways, uh, but over here we can see the, the temperatures of the car. But let's take us for a drive. We're gonna head out to the drag strip real quick. And we're gonna, oh, we're gonna see if that uh, horsepower on the left there changes as we drive. There we go. So, so far nothing. Temperatures are rising though. We're at probably about 100 degrees. Easy. All right, there we go. Okay, we're getting ready to hit 120. Uh, we're still sitting at 200 horsepower though. And uh, we are getting ready to redline on our temperature. All right, we are redlined. Oh, and look, you can see our horsepower just slowly going down over there on the left. Well, kind of rapidly. We're at 142, 135. Now, let's see if we uh, just let off the throttle a little bit, see if it slows down. Kind of seems like it. And let's see. Up here's the strip. 23 horsepower, 18, 12, 1. Oh, we're in the negative horsepower, so that's quite interesting. It's still running, though. Let's just get out and take a look at it. And see how she looks. It's showing that we have almost near zero horse. Well... The, well, the engine looks pretty good still. Let's take a look at the pistons real quick. I see almost nowhere on the pistons here. Okay. Uh, let's just look inside the radi radiator. I'm pretty sure there's no fluid. Well, it's kind of hard to tell, but I don't think so. Uh, let's see. I actually have a little bit of coolant on me. Let's see if we could actually fill it up a little bit. And then we'll continue to drive. Okay, throw that. Um, it's probably leaking. We're just going to put this cap back on. And we're going to continue. Get out of here. Let's see if she starts. Okay, it's still showing we have 200 horse. So, let's get turned around. There we go. And we're going to reposition so we can see that temperature gauge again. There we go. We're already at 120. So let's get rolling. And our horsepower is uh, dropping over there. Oh, I think the uh, drag strip's right over here to the left. Let's just pull in there. There we go. And there we go. That's a gun it.
Okay, horsepower says it's dropping, uh, but I'm still getting pretty good, pretty good power here. Nope, I could definitely feel a difference. Oh look, it's really slowing down. It's almost not even letting me move now. Oh yeah, it's locking up. It's, it's, it's shut off on me. Oh, nope, there it is. Oh, nope, it's shut off. Okay, let's just take a look at the engine, see if it turned brown or black or whatever. I mean, it still looks fine. And let's look at the parts. Parts still look fine, so the heat has not affected. Okay, well, let's let her cool just for a second. Nope, it's pretty, pretty hot still. Uh, let's see if we can start it. Oh, it kind of let me start. Let me throw it in neutral. Okay, it won't start. I should have brought more coolant with me, I think. Okay, well, we'll let that thing cool down for a bit. Uh, doesn't look like it destroyed the engine at all, though. So, like, if we would bring in a brand new... Uh, if we bring in a brand new radiator, which we can do, actually, let's do that. Yeah, let's pull this radiator out real quick and let's throw it into that car. Yeah, it doesn't seem like uh, overheating actually destroys the engine itself. It's quite fascinating. Yeah, it's pretty smashed. Let's see now if we put this one in. Okay, thank God it let me. And let's make sure it still has fluid. It does. And let's see if she starts now. And see if she still has 200 horsepower. Still got a full-blown 200 horse. So that is really interesting. So it doesn't seem like you actually have to worry about destroying your engine. Okay, these were supposed to be crashed, but they're not. So we're just going to go ahead and crash them ourselves. And uh, see if we can get this radiator busted. And let's see how this engine does. And what we're going to do this time is... We're going to run it one time after, um, it basically after the radiator is destroyed. And once it stalls, we are going to go ahead and see how the engine parts themselves are. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this thing crashed. As you can see, we have 80 horsepower in this little engine. And let's go. Okay, let's see. Let's see if that uh, crashed our rate or uh, smashed our radiator. Oh, we're kind of in the wrong spot here. Hold on. Let's take a look. Oh, that should definitely be destroyed. And it's not. Wow. Right? Oh, no. I think I see some purple or some pink or whatever the hell that color is down there. Oh, yeah. It's smashed. Okay. Let's go ahead and just drive this until it uh, dies. And then we will check the parts and see how they look. Oops, and of course, I don't know how to uh, get into a car. All right, let's row. All right, we're coming up at the dead end. Let's get this puppy turned around. And we'll get back inside so we can see the temperatures. So it's not too hot yet. It's only about halfway. God oh, damn, I wanted to shear off that door. All right, we're going to go ahead and turn over to this other side. Temperature. 
pushers are getting ready to max out but we're still at 80 horsepower so no real problems yet all right let's go ahead and get this thing turned around here and head back down okay we are hitting max uh, temperature our horsepower is dropping as you can see there on the left it's at 28 25 22 19 so here we go down to 10 7 now we're hitting the negatives I don't feel a drop in drop okay now it's starting to slow down let's drop it to third yep it's slowing down on us we're just gonna keep driving until it, it dies on its own okay we can see smoke coming out oh yeah it doesn't want to uh they started so we're gonna drop it down to first okay and it died so let's hit that brake and now let's take off these parts and see so yeah as we can see from here uh the engine parts look fine but is that true uh we're gonna find out we're gonna see if uh if it's actually uh, gone down in condition all right here's the entire head um everything looks fine and i won't be able to tell the condition state unless i removed it all but uh, let's take a look at the head gasket head gasket looks fine and all the pistons and such uh, they look fine but let's go ahead and take it apart and see if they actually show bad parts or not okay so i got a lot of the parts off here um if we look at the piston you can see at the bottom there it says looks brand new looks brand oh, that don't have a thing but uh head still looks brand new and i lost the damn timing chain somewhere Timing chain looks brand new. Camshaft doesn't have a condition on it. Uh, yeah, everything still looks brand new. So, yeah, it seems uh, if you smash your radiator, you can run it until it at least dies once. Uh, but anyway, let me put everything back on and see if we could run this thing again and see how many times uh, we can do it until it actually doesn't run anymore. So let me get it put back together real quick here. Okay, she's all put back together. Uh, let's go ahead and run her again and see how many times we could run it until uh, we cannot run it no more. All right, let's get going. Uh, let's turn up our log again. There it is. And remove the brake and let's go. Yeah, so that's quite interesting. After the first run, uh, the parts don't even get worn even just a little bit. Temperature still at zero. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing turned around. So, so far, uh, scenario, if you're out and about and you wreck and you have a smashed rad, uh, you could definitely run it until it dies. And we could get, let's see how far we can get before it dies again. Now, I always recommend using the solution of turning off your engine, uh, coast, and then turn it back on when it cools. I thought the engine would have got damaged as soon as it got up to the highest temperature, uh, but it does not appear that is the case. Okay, let's see. It's almost maxed out on the temp. I'm just going to go ahead and turn back around here. Alright, we are smoking. Eight, uh, horsepower is dropping but nothing to any extremes still running pretty good interesting interesting so yeah you could get pretty far off a broken rad
and then ideally at this point you would just kind of pull over uh let it cool down or turn it off oh and there it goes jesus christ that scared the fuck out of me <laughs> okay oh if i gave me a heart attack well there we go second time is not a charm let's just go ahead and hit that e-brake let's jump out we definitely threw a rod oh yeah look at it we threw the whole piston right out the damn block indeed indeed so there's uh well there you go i mean there you go what does that say this is just broken indeed i would say that is very true uh, let's look at the rest of the pistons inside come on just get in there would you okay let's try that again this time we're going to mouse wheel down oh we blew the cam it looks like and oh can't see the rest of the gosh dang pistons uh yeah let's poke our head in through this other side real quick oh yeah whole crankshaft is gone but uh it doesn't appear oh yeah i don't even see any of the pistons I think it threw it all. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. Uh, first time seems like it runs okay if once it dies out, uh, no damage had would occur. But uh, it might be a case by case. Uh, you know, it might be different every time. The second time, we freaking completely blew the engine before it could even die. So I'd recommend if you wreck and you break your rad, pay attention to your temperatures. Once it hits the top, the red line, just go ahead and kill your engine. Let that puppy cool down. Start it back up once it's cooled down and keep moving until you get to your garage or wherever you're heading. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. So, okay, well, that was a pretty great experiment. I really enjoyed that. Uh, let's go ahead and set up the next one. Oh, look, there's all the pistons. Fun. Okay. Okay, this next test is pretty simple, self-explanatory. Uh, we just took out both head gaskets, and we're going to see uh, how the engine runs, how it responds to those bad uh, with no head gaskets. See, oops, we forgot to put the wires back on, uh, and see what happens. All right, so uh, we can might as well make sure the fluids are all fine. Because typically, if you have a busted head gasket or a bad head gasket, your oil and uh, radiator fluid is going to be mixing. Your radiator, radiator fluid will be getting into your engine where the oil reservoirs are. Yeah, it doesn't turn out to be such a good scenario. Okay, let's see. Our temperatures are there on the right. All right, let's go ahead and sit in. We have 153.6 horsepower. I didn't check it uh, before I took out the head gaskets uh, or not, so that's quite interesting. You know what? Let's go ahead and spawn a brand new one real quick and see how many horses it has. Okay, so this one has all of its head gaskets and everything. Let's see what it says. Okay, 240. Okay, so just with missing head gaskets, uh, you lose horsepower. So that is actually good to know. And let's get her started. So 153, and let's see what happens. Yeah. Now we still got the brake on. So we're pretty much at this end of the uh, drag strip. Let's see how many times we can go before we can't no more. Temperatures look good. Horsepower looks good. And yeah, let's see how it does. Oh, it's only a four speed, okay. Well, we uh, made one full lap with no problems. Let's just do some donuts real quick.
or not. <laughs> okay. Apparently this is a, uh, well, it's only 150 horse frickin' V8. That's not too good, uh, if you don't know. I mean, my little Ford Focus, I think, has like 120 horse. And it's a four-cylinder, so... Okay, let's get turned around. So, so far, no problemos. Uh, on this third lap, once we get back, we're gonna go ahead, well, it shouldn't, there shouldn't be any damage. Cause I think we would see that there on the horsepower, but. Let's keep going. Oh look, now it's starting to, uh, now it's starting to drop in horsepower. Let's go ahead and kill it before it does explode. Uh, let's take a look. So it's at 114. So we got what, was that one, two, three, four, I think? I mean, it looks fine from the outside, uh, but we're gonna have to get inside to truly know. And of course, this freaking car is too big to poke my fat head through. Uh, let's try this. Okay. So far, so good. Uh, we can't see the condition state from this angle. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at the oil and see if that has changed and see if the radiator fluid has changed. Okay, there we go. So with uh, missing head gaskets, your radiator fluid will loot you you will lose radiator fluid and your oil for instance oh and you lose oil as well without head gaskets interesting okay well well that is good to know so don't forget your head gasket but you could actually get pretty far with no head gaskets as you could tell so let's just go ahead and blow this thing real quick Oh, but we're back up to 153 horse again. Yes, I think we were only losing horsepower because of the temperature over there. So let's go ahead. Okay, we, we must be at max temp. Uh, before we do that, we are going to turn it off. And let's just take a look at the pistons and see if there's been any wear on them uh, with that a couple times there. So give me a moment while I pull this all off. Okay, and if we look underneath, everything looks fine. Uh, but let's pull off a couple pistons and check their condition state. Uh, the condition state's not showing, but... I know how to get that fixed. Okay, yeah. So the condition state's not showing. Uh, I think it's because of this log thing here. And I have to actually save and quit. Uh, so we'll be right back. Okay, so it did actually wear the parts down a bit here. Uh, we are a bit used, but still as new. So we didn't jack it up too, too much. Uh, let's go actually and pull off a head and see what the head says as well so it seems like if you have a problem as long as you're keeping an eye on your temperatures uh you might be able to salvage and uh, salvage your engine uh, but let's get this pulled off but i guess that would be expected right uh yeah but if you continue to run it uh that's when you're going to get some major major problems so the head is the same okay so let's go ahead and just get that back on and well, at least we know that there is 
engine uh, wear and tear when you forget your pistons and of course when you forget to put a head gasket on. Uh, we're just gonna stick this on uh, one bolt it and just so I could sell it uh, and I'm not leaving all these parts around here. Let me go ahead and get the next test set up and I'll meet you guys there. Okay, so this next test is a, a fairly basic one, a simple one rather. Um, and it is, will a car drive with no tires on the rim or can a car drive on just pure rims? Uh, well, we are about to find out. I don't know and we will see though. Let's get her started. Clap her in neutral for a second. Let's take a look at her. Let's pull up our log. We got 252 horsepower. Okay, well, let's uh, throw her in first. Let's see if she will drive. Okay, she does. She moves. Check it out. Uh, she doesn't turn too swell. Oh, and we're a little bit stuck here. Oh yeah, it works. I mean, it works how you'd probably expect it to work. Uh, looks like we're gonna have to reverse a little bit here. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get it back and let's try this again. We're gonna try to just do some uh, so-called donuts. Uh, we're gonna kind of just face her over there. Oh yeah, look, she really slides around like, <laughs> like nothing. Okay, uh, let's get back in here. Temperatures are looking good. Uh, yeah, let's see what what we can do. Drift, yeah, okay, see, I finally got my drift on. All right, well, let's run through the gears and see how many gears we can get through. Oh, okay, okay. I mean, so it kind of does that thing uh, when we have it on the uh, car jack. Uh, you can only get so many RPMs to come through. Okay. So it's it's drivable. I think we have proved that. Uh, it is kind of fun just sliding around like this though. Uh, you can't slide very fast, but nonetheless, you could have like a super slow-mo race or something. Okay, cool. Well, I like it. Okay, let's... Let her come to a stop. How's my uh, temperatures? Okay, we're doing good. I must have good radiator fluid and all this. Okay, well, that's good to know. Uh, if you really needed to, you could drive this puppy uh, with no problemo. Okay, cool. So let me go ahead and set up my next experiment. Okay, so on this next test, what we are going to be testing is the power levels uh, dependent on how much oil you have in the car. So this is our control car. It has uh, full oil. This one here is going to have half oil. Uh, it's just above the line, as you can see right there. So it's in range. And then, of course, this one is going to be below range. Okay. And then what we'll do after these is we'll test and see what it's like with zero oil. Let's start with the control car first. Uh, if we're going to jump in and see how the horsepower is, see if it's, uh, so it's at 240 horse. So before we start them, we're just going to kind of check each one and see if the horsepower is different right off the bat. 240. Nope. That is good. This is the low one. So let's see if it registers any difference. Uh, 240. Okay. So they all register the same. Okay. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get the race set up. Hopefully I'm back far enough for each one of these. And we're going to use this to monitor the time uh, it takes to run through the race. Okay, so first up, the control car. Let's go and get her started up. 
key break off. And let's pull up to the line and see what time this thing hits. All right, three, two, one, go. Okay, 12.74 12 for the first run. I'm just gonna quickly skip through two more runs to get three runs per car. So that's 12.74. Okay, that second run was 12.59. Uh, let's go ahead and get that third one clocked in. Okay, and the third run was a 12.93. Okay, next up will be the second car here where the oil is uh, halfway drained out, but still within the actual, uh, the lines within the range, just above the line there. Let's see what kind of time we can post on this one. Uh, between the last three races on the other car, uh, it is averaging probably about that 12.74. Uh, but let's see how this one does. And we'll pay attention to the temperatures. Two, three, two, one, go. Okay, well, this thing basically hits the exact same times. Uh, but let's run it two more times. Okay, and the second run was a 1291, which is comparable to the third run of the last car. Okay, and the third time is 12.79 again. So it seems like it runs no problem uh, with it being a little bit low. Um, of course, who knows about with longevity. Uh, but this one had a 12 of 7, 9, a 12, 9, 1, and a 12, 7, 9 run. Or the first one was a 12, 7, 4, 12, 5, 9, and a 12, 9, 3. Uh, so they are both averaging at about the same. All right, let's get her parked and get into the next car. And before we do so, we're just going to look at the oils. Uh, I don't think they're going to be any brown yet. It takes quite a while to actually brown up the oil. Okay, that one is still fine. And yeah, this one will be the one that is low below the line. So let's give it a shot. Okay, three, two, one. A 13 a 13 that was actually the slowest so far uh, let's go ahead and get lined up for the next one okay and on our second run with this one I did a little bit better shifting uh, we hit a, a 12.75 with his which is what is on average with the other two cars uh, they are at a 12.79 12.74 um, this one a little bit higher because of our last posting of 1313. 13. Well, let's go ahead and run it one more time. Okay, and this time we hit a 1269. Uh, so, so far, yeah, it uh, doesn't seem to have too much impact, at least at the beginning of the car's uh, drive cycle. Uh, but I think what we'll do is, so they're all averaging about the same. Uh, no real difference between the two except for how well I came off on the line and shifted and such. Uh, so let's go ahead and yeah, get rid of that. And this one's on a low oil. Uh, so we're just going to kind of let this sit here and run. And we're going to try this again, but we are going to do... Let's stick it in neutral. Uh, might as well throw the brake on. So we're going to try this again, but this time we're going to do it with no oil and see what happens if we drain all the oil out. We're gonna go ahead and just remove the oil from this purple car. And before we start the race, uh, let's just take a look at this oil before we continue after three runs. 
It is still the same. It is still clean. Okay, it's done draining. Let's get this uh, cap or this uh, bolt back on. Oh my god, I got so lucky. I thought I was going to throw it. All right, yep, there she is. And we're just going to look inside. And yep, she's bone dry. All right, let's let's uh, let's test her out. A little bit of a slow start. I kind of messed up, wasn't paying attention. Okay, we still hit a fairly same time, a 13.04, uh, but that was probably due to my delayed uh, start. So let's go ahead and run it again. Okay, number two, uh, second attempt was a 12.84, which is still sitting on average of the other three runs, or the other three cars with the different levels. So let's get back and let's run her again. Oh, okay, over here. So yeah, the temperatures are looking good. Uh, let's take a look at the temperatures in here since it's been running nonstop. Oh, they look good. What the hell? Did I get different cars? Oh, I did. I got Chad's and a Bart. Well, whatever. They're the same engine. Let's run it again. Oh, and there she went. God, it scared the hell out of me. Oh, my God. That was this car, right? Definitely was this car. So it stalled. Uh, let's take a look at the engine. Should have turned it off. Uh, that's okay, though. No oil. Of course, there's no oil. I don't see a busted block, uh, but obviously something's busted under there. Uh, so give me a minute. We're going to go ahead and look underneath and see if the engines... Well, yeah, let's see if the pistons have went out. Oh, yeah, okay. Looking in there, all the pistons, crankshaft, they are all ruined. Ruined. Okay, uh, yeah, they're all ruined. Let's go ahead and jump in again and just uh, see what it's telling us as far as horsepower and all that. Yeah, 25 horse. Uh, let's see if it'll even start. Nope, yep, we definitely blew the engine. Uh, didn't blow the block, but we definitely blew the pistons. And I wouldn't be so Oh, yeah, no, we blew... Look, there it is. You can see the block is destroyed, actually. It's just covered up by all these parts. Okay, well, good to know. Uh, you could get about two runs out of a car with no oil. Uh, I guess that's kind of expected. Uh, and let's see. What would be the next one? I think that will be all of the tests. Uh, so to end it, we are going to... I was going to say, let's see how long we could drive this thing before it actually goes out. Uh, but it seems like it's doing fairly well with everything. Uh, let's look at the oil again. Yeah, it's still under. Um, let's see if we could actually take a look at the pistons and see if they look like they're getting fried out or anything. Nope, the pistons all look good. Yep, everything looks good under there. Uh, okay, well, in that case, I guess there's nothing else better to do. So I think to finish this off, uh, I am just going to go ahead and drive this around the track as much as I can and see uh, how long it takes for the horsepower to go down. If it ever will. Uh, temperatures, everything seems to be holding pretty steady. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. Yeah, seems like it's not really... Not really giving any issues here.
So we've had three runs. This would be like four. Uh, but what I wanted to see, what happens if we shift it into first going this fast? Uh, so let's find out. Maybe off the next one. I want to see actually how long this thing will last. So that was one time back and forth. Okay, that was the second time. Okay, that was the third time all the way back to the end of the track. Uh, let's just go ahead and as we can see on the left there with the log that there has been no drop in horsepower. Uh, but just to be sure, we're going to go ahead and pull off some pistons and see if there has been any damage. First glance, it doesn't appear so. Yep, it's still below the line. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and pull off the oil pan. And we're going to actually just look at, not just look visually, but we're going to look at the uh, condition state. Uh, physically though, oh yep, look, nope, there has been damage. Yep, look at the pistons and the crank. Oh no, not even the pistons. The pistons are fine. Well, that's questionable. Uh, the crankshaft is destroyed. Yeah, the pistons look fine, but the crankshaft is uh, getting worn. Um, so this thing doesn't account for crankshaft uh, destruction or wear. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and see what kind of time we'll post uh, with the state of the engine as is right now. So let me go ahead and get this lined up real quick. Or now we are set. Uh, we're still showing uh, 240 horsepower there on the left. Uh, but let's see how the times are. We're about to run out of fuel as well. Doesn't seem like there's much of a difference. Nope, we're still posting normal times. Okay, well, eventually this thing will blow uh, because that crankshaft is getting worn, but I do want to test out what happens at full speed at top gear if we downshift to first. Will the engine blow? We'll find out. Okay, we're in first. And the uh, the car actually stalled on me. Okay, I think we blew it actually. Um, it's still showing 240 horsepower, so either that is not working correctly, uh, which might be the case. But everything looks pretty trashed in here, including the pistons. But I don't know if that happened before I put it in first or after. Uh, the oil still where it is. Uh, let's go ahead and try that gear thing again, but this time with an engine that is uh, fine and dandy. So this one here shouldn't really have any damage to it. It was running just fantastic. Yep, this is the one that's over the line. Uh, we are going to go ahead and peek our heads into the thing here. Yep, crankshaft. Everything's looking good on this car. Okay, let's see what happens with this perfectly great engine that's in the range uh, when we go from fourth gear to first gear at close to top speed. Let's drop her in first. It doesn't look like anything. <laughs> okay, well, there we go. So, yeah, uh, maybe I might have to test the um, dr uh, dropping down into first a few more times, uh, but it didn't seem like anything really happened by doing that. Um, all the pistons, crankshaft still looks good. Uh, transmission uh, seems to be fine. 
And we've learned in previous videos that you with not using your clutch actually does not affect the transmission. Uh, but yeah, I think that will be it for today's video. We went ahead and, and did quite a bit of wear and tear tests. We've learned that if you are under the line, it takes quite a while for your engine to actually blow. Uh, if you are completely out of oil, it does not take as long, but it will blow, or at least the crankshaft goes first and then the pistons afterwards. And we learned with a radiator, um, it just drains out and then it gets hotter and hotter and it will eventually go, it will eventually blow. Uh, but as long as you keep those temperatures down by turning off the car or pulling over, letting it cool down, whatever, and starting it back up and taking off again, uh, you should be able to salvage your engine in case you get in a wreck sometime. But that crash there was actually a pretty great one. Uh, it affected all four cars there that were lined up. But yeah, that'll be it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, that is all of the tests and experiments that I have on my list as of the moment. So if you have any other requests, please let me know in the comment section down below and uh, we will take a look at them. And if you would like to see any of the tests that we've already performed in today's video or past videos, um, but more extensively or in different ways, just let me know down below in the comments. And uh, yeah, we will go ahead and do that. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and uh, we will see you guys later. Later on.